Now there are two types of presentations of uh, context-free grammar. A context-free grammar, uh, there are two types of representation. Number one is CNF and second one is GNF. CNF is Chomsky normal form. Chomsky normal form. These are the normal form. And second one is Griebach normal form. Griebach normal form normal form so we have two types of representation number one is the Chomsky normal form and second one is uh, Gripak normal form okay this Chomsky normal form is used uh, you know to represent uh, context free grammar the main advantage of this Chomsky normal form is you can if you want to derive any string of a particular length then there's only fixed number of steps which you will be able you will take uh, to derive the string of some length right and uh, this is used for identifying the membership problem in case of uh, context free grammar and what is the membership problem membership problem is given any random string if I give you a string given any grammar can I generate this string from this grammar that is is this string a member of this sorry uh, given any uh, grammar so is this string a member of the language represented by this grammar Okay, so Chomsky normal form or CNF form is used to uh, identify whether a given st uh, you know, uh, string is a member of a particular language represented by a grammar. So it is also it is used for membership problem that is called as membership problem. When we say Griebach normal form, Griebach normal form is actually used to convert a pushdown automata to a context free grammar or a context free grammar to push down automata and that is the main advantage of Griebach normal form so first of all we are going to do CNF which is the Chomsky normal form and both of them are actually called as normal forms right so what is the Chomsky normal form if in a context free grammar all the productions are of the form A drives BC or or A drives small a then then uh, the grammar is in Chomsky normal form that means <laughs> A non-terminal should exactly drive two non-terminals should exactly drive two non-terminals or a single variable then it is called as CNF or Chomsky normal form or Chomsky normal form now for example if you have a grammar like this example A can drive BC B can drive small a and C can drive small b now this grammar is actually in CNF or Chomsky normal form because a non-terminal is driving exactly two non-terminals so it should be in the form a non-terminal should drive exactly two non-terminal or a non-terminal should drive exactly one where, uh, terminal should drive exactly one terminal okay so here uh, every production is, the f is in which is following the Chomsky normal form so this grammar is in CNF so what are the advantages of CNF so first advantage is the length of each production is restricted because you can see uh, B and C B and C the length of this production is exactly restricted we don't have more than two variables here or more than one uh, terminal here the length of each production is actually restricted the first advantage is this second advantage is the derivation tree or the pass tree uh, obtained by a CNF will always be a binary tree right so even if you try to create any derivation tree any derivation tree like this A can derive BC B can derive C A and C can drive B so it will always be a binary tree binary tree means every parent will be having exactly two children because obviously you are putting a restriction of having exactly two variables right so uh, this is the derivation tree uh, which is also which is uh, always the derivation tree will always be a binary tree and the third advantage is the number of steps required to derive any string of uh, any string will be a uh, the length of the string 2 into length of the string minus 1 that means for example the number of steps required number of steps required to generate any string any string of length of length n is 2 into n minus 1 number of steps required to generate any string of length n 
is 2 into n minus 1 which is not guaranteed in other cases which is not guaranteed in other cases for example let us suppose if you have a grammar like this uh, a derives b b drives c c drives d d drives e e drives f and f derives small a now in this case if you want to generate a string of length 1 this is this grammar is not in cnf this grammar is not in chomsky null form if you want to generate uh, a string of length 1 that is single a then how many steps you have to take for A, you can generate B, from B you can generate C, from C you can generate D, from D you can generate E, from E you can generate F, from F you can generate small a. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have to take 6 steps to generate a string of length 1. Now in some cases it is not even guaranteed because some grammars may be containing loops, some grammars may be containing you know epsilon so they, they may expand sometime, they may shrink after some time, they may expand, they may shrink, they expand, they shrink and so on. So in some cases it is very difficult to generate a terminal or generate a string. So uh, after some specific number of steps, there is no limitation uh, in those cases that what is the number of steps you are going to take to generate a string of length n or something because you have to apply you have to take uh, sometimes you have to take a brute force technique you have to check every possible combination to generate a string but here in the case of Chomsky normal form if you want to generate a string of length n then you will be taking exactly 2 into n minus 1 steps now for example from this grammar if you want to generate a string of length 2 so how can you do it so you can do a can generate bc b can generate small a c c can generate small b so it is AB. So I have taken exactly three steps to generate string of length 2. So you can verify with this formula 2 into 2 minus 1 string of length 2. So it is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So you have taken exactly three steps to generate a string of length 3. String of length 2. In the same way in some grammars if you want to generate a string of length 5 then you will be taking exactly nine steps to generate string of length 5. So this with the help of Chomsky normal form you are putting a restriction on every uh, on every uh, you know production uh, to take exactly some uh, finite number of steps to generate a, a string okay after this you know the next advantage is it is very easy to apply cyk algorithms on cnf it is very easy to apply cyk algorithm i'll tell you what is a cyk algorithms afterwards okay cyk algorithms is used to find the membership problem that means for, from a given grammar can you actually uh, uh, gen, can can a given string be generated from a given grammar or not so uh, we use cyk algorithm for that purposes okay now let us see if we have any random grammar i give you any random grammar will you be able to convert that grammar in chomsky normal form or cnf okay